What's going on guys? Uh, today I figured I'd upload a video about a topic called light map templates and I've been meaning to do this for a while so I'll kind of make this quick but straight to the point and this is basically going to show you how to create a flawless light map on majority of your models if not all of them. Um, this method is going to prevent bleeding in the most obvious of manners as well as if you keep in concepts of what you already know or what you're learning. Um, this is basically the entire area that the shadow is going to either show up or the light's going to show up. Okay, so if you think across top down like this is what's going to happen. Um, all these little squares in here, as you can see, not these, not these ones, but the tinier ones. It's eight by eight. Okay, now those are all pixels, though, all across, and the resolution's 128 by 128. Okay. So if I went to a higher one, it would start looking smaller, you know, but it's still got all those little pixels in there. Now, the one I've made has gone for 2048 by 2048. So you have to have your UV set up to snap in between or utilize the space the best way properly, you know, the best way you can and make sure that you're not crossing over too many pixels, otherwise it's going to cause bleeding. So this method will show you how to do it without a problem. Um, 3ds Max, I already got my piece centered, pivot point on the back point, centering it, you know, it's just a modular piece, uh, straight wall interior. I'm going to go down to unwrap UVW, polygon selection, open UV editor. Now in the background you usually get this normal default uh, checker scheme. Um, what you want is something custom. Now I've already made one. Usually go under pick texture and click on bitmap, stuff like that. Uh, so I have my 2048 by 2048 and what I use is a technique called pixel snap. Um, so naturally what's going to happen is you're going to have this here, probably not even toggled. You won't want grid snap but you have to click down on it to get it to do this then let go so it will create this little snapping going on to every little square that's what you want and it will reface your UVs a little bit but it will snap them in the best way it can the reason you do that is because you want to utilize as much of the space as possible as many pixels as possible in their proper size. Uh, this way the shadows will render flawlessly. Um, so as long as you have enough padding on the from the outside edge as well and you have the UV island here uh, it's also got enough padding. You could do like two of these. I do four of this just to make sure it works for me. You could do smaller if it works. Um, usually rule of thumb I believe is like two pixels padding worth two to four here and I think four to maybe eight in between here. Um, that would be other islands if you had more in between. The stuff in between you gotta worry about more. So that's set up. I already have it set up here and we'll just collapse all. You know, export Autodesk FBX and just click a name, whatever. And that's what I did. I pretty much brought it into Unreal Engine 4. And I already built the light, so basically perfect except for like the bottom part. I got to work on that. Um, but the shadow itself is the way it should be. Back part rendered is the way it should be. You know, it's shadows are burned on. You know, light mass did its thing. So that's the way it should look. And if you use these light mass templates you'll definitely be able to create something way better than just some eyeballing technique and things bleeding and again um, I will add the proper links and information and credit to the people that I've learned this from um, learned it from really one guy uh, but all the people that contributed to that and other people that might have known this, uh, this is the technique that I use now and it works great. 
makes my job a lot easier as long as you have these set up to whatever resolution you're looking for and shadow map resolution is actually the resolution of the shadow that actually is cast in the game um, or environment and so the difference between light map and a shadow map is the light map is actually what helps create the proper shadow map to your 3D object. Um, it also determines the resolution. So if your light map template is 2048 by 2048, it's going to be a 2048 by 2048 shadow resolution. Um, if you do decide to change settings on it, chances are most of the time they will work uh, one step down or one step above all right after that it will start being questionable so as long as you keep a, a set average basis for the shadows of your asset then you'll you'll be fine um, so again this is modular if this is interior lighting hitting it would look proper as well because it's just giving it the information that it needs to know how to properly cast the light and the shadows on this so um, it's really that's it that's all there is to it it's not too hard you just got to keep in mind what you're aiming for shadow map size and uh, then the pixel obviously being the case for the the bleeding and the shadows and lights cast um, keep that in the background of your UV template that pops up here use pixel snap when you actually move your islands here and make sure you always load the proper proper grid here and make sure that, like I said this is selected and then you just go to town so alright guys hope this helped out um, I'll try to make some more videos over time I've been pretty busy working two jobs right now so we're gonna have to work in between uh, also make sure that your light map um, UV you can save it save UVs and you can also make sure that this is not map channel 1 light maps are map channel 2 so if you notice that after the case um, just move them okay still save them no, it doesn't matter pretty much at this point that's all I was showing you on there and as long as you keep your UVs properly laid out the way they should be as well that's something that you're gonna have to know and eyeball um, but other than that, you're pretty much going to have the similar result where this is all going to light up properly. This will go for anything. I'm going to do a video of more props that I've actually used it on so you can see how well it actually works. Um, but even so, even if there's an issue here, like right here, you can really see it. The shadow is perfectly straight across. And it's, like I said, it's going really dark and it's kind of lightening out. This is like a perfect example, actually. So it shows you all the pixels that it's already using to do this the shadow looks even better farther away you know what I mean so that's why I did it such a high shadow map resolution but that wouldn't be something you'd want to do in a full city long distance where you could see you know it's just gonna bog down your system so um, you want to keep in mind you know what environment are you using is it interior exterior how big is it you know leave that up to your players to figure out too if they want really high details they they might so you want to make sure you have the option for them and that's one of the ways to determine that all right guys thanks for watching i will talk to you guys later